My video for October 21st, 2019 is video number 3243. The title is My Birthday, Starting Over, New Cycle. I was born in Suffern, New York at 1019 p.m. on October 21st, 1946. My friend, Steve Hart, says I am a one on the Enneagram with a nine wing but it really does not matter that much. I am an explorer of sorts, always trying to figure things out that challenge me. I question. This past month, as I re-examined my life, a new concept slowly came into my consciousness. I do not think our number is fixed for life. Rather, it makes more sense that growing people get to experience many things, perhaps going through all the stages of life, continuously cycling through the phases with each passing year. Nothing is fixed unless we choose not to grow. For some, the choice is to stagnate. For others, it is to grow through exploration. I choose to question, to explore. Yes, I have thought I was on a mission from God since early childhood before I even reached double digits. Perhaps there are no double digits at all. Maybe we really start over every nine years with a new phase, childhood, adolescence, young adult, middle age, and finally old age. I do not have names for each new phase. It's just something I am exploring. This I know. I am expecting the next nine years to be the most exciting for me and perhaps for, for humanity. Yeah, I'm waiting till very late in the day to record this, uh, just a few more hours. My birthday will officially be here, although the actual time of birth will not be until after I've recorded and uh, getting ready to upload my uh, 3,244th 3, video, which will of course be for October 22nd. I always record them a day early uh, and save it on my computer till it's time to go live. And I don't go to bed every night anymore till I've put my video up. I don't schedule them because the longer you can allow YouTube to have it sitting there, the more chances of them messing with it. <laughs> so I am more spontaneous with putting the videos up every day. And I've already gotten uh, a handful of people, perhaps, I don't know, perhaps people that live in where the date has already changed because, you know, we're in uh, here in Florida uh, and already, you know, it's the 21st in Australia and uh, places, you know, depending on where they are on the, on the date line, uh, they may already have it on the 21st. So that may be why I've already gotten some birthday greetings. And of course, my brother called me uh, much earlier today and he says, I'm gonna be the first one to wish you a happy birthday. And we had a, a nice long conversation on the phone, which was really nice. My brother, as I've said in other videos, is the only one that uh, uh, keeps in touch with me, you know, from time to time. And he's gone through some challenges and including an operation just a couple of uh, weeks ago that he's still recuperating from. <laughs> Despite the fact that I have some strange dreams, I also have some good dreams that point that at least at my interpretation of them is that there's great things getting ready to happen. And I'm hoping that this, that this year uh, that starts in a little while, this new year for me will will be a year that brings not just me, but all of us more opportunities to shine, more op opportunities to uh, help others and to, to for humanity, to help humanity grow up and stop the, the slavery that has gone on for such a long time, the deceptions that have gone over and over and over again you know, there are so many things that need to happen in this world to make Earth truly enter an Aquarian age. Now, 
ages, of course, are much different than human age. You know, I'm 73, which is a one. Uh, I'm starting over with a, with a one. And uh, the ages last, you know, two, 2,000 and some odd years. And uh, well, actually, that's, that's the age of, a, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that's the age of, of Aquarius. We're entering into the Aquarian age, supposedly. We actually, it happened, you know, it was the dawning of the age of Aquarius when the, what, what was that group that sang that song? Uh, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. Well, humanity needs to enter an age of enlightenment whatever name you want to attach to it, we need to become enlightened and realize that the limitations that we look at that seem real are invitations and opportunities to explore possibilities. And I'm listening to the, this series of videos called the, the Caspian Experiment, and in fact, when my brother called me, I had just started a new chapter and I listened to the Monovona reader. And uh, so I can sit back with my eyes closed and just listen and let the words sink in. But it's, it's pretty, um, this woman has written some pretty amazing stuff. And she went through, you know, humongous challenges herself, including uh, changes where she thought she was going to have a, an operation uh, and then when she, when they do the pre-examination for the operation, they, the condition they thought they were operating on disappears. So reality is not fixed. In other words, our experiences are fluid. And she actually, one of the things that amazed me is she actually put her hand through, uh, through a wall and then found she could go out, go through the wall and enter into another completely different dimension. And the, her friends thought she just, you know, she just what, fell asleep, but she didn't fall asleep. Her body was still here, but she was actually on the other side of a dimensional barrier that she was able to slip through and receive uh, the message from this old man. We've been waiting for you. Welcome home. And, and really a, a nice message. And, and she didn't die. She's still alive. And well, I mean, she was when at the time that she wrote this. I don't know where she is now. I think that was actually the latter part of the 20th century when she wrote the, this book, The Caspian Experiment. But it's really fascinating. And uh, uh, I'm taking the time to do at least a few chapters every day and listen. They're fairly long. And uh, very, some of them are more interesting than others, to be honest. Uh, she's going through a lot of her life experience of ch with the children and her uh, relationships and stuff like that, and people that she's met. And she's, she, she, like me, is challenged to explore. And I would like to encourage everyone to think about the situation that we're in and be willing to step through the walls of thought and enter into an area where we sort of accept the idea that we are always having new potentials, new possibilities placed before us. And it depends on how we respond to each new opportunity that comes our way. And I'm hoping that this next year uh, will bring new opportunities, not just for me, but for all of us to become the people that I believe we were initially created to be in whatever the beginning was. Uh, I don't believe that there isn't necessarily an end. I think it's life without end. And that's what I hope to experience. Not that this life as Ron Van Dyke will never end, but that I will be a conscious sojourner for the rest of my existence. Thank you for listening and Namaste.